You're watching WMAR 2 News. Good afternoon, Maryland. I'm Christian Schaefer. Baltimore City Police have released the video from the cameras worn by the police officers who shot and killed a man in East Baltimore earlier this week. This is a shooting that happened Sunday morning inside of a home on East Lafayette Avenue. Now this video is from the first officer who went inside that home. There's a disturbance upstairs, so it goes upstairs along with an officer trainee. He later found a man identified as Timothy Fleming threatening his fiance with a knife. Now in this video, she can be seen seated on the ground there in the corner with her back against a doorway. A second officer arrives. The video shows both of them trying to convince Fleming to drop the knife or let the woman go. That discussion lasted more than two minutes, but eventually the police commissioner says Timothy Fleming made a motion that appeared like he was going to stab the woman and both officers opened fire. They pleaded with Timothy to put the knife down and they pleaded with him as much as they could and they tried to de-escalate it as much as they could. And I, I don't know that this could have gone any other way considering the, the distance they were, the narrowness of the hallway and the position he was in and at the at the moment he appeared to was going to strike or stab the victim, they were left with no other choice. Now, there is also a video from that police trainee's body worn camera. It shows him trying to perform first aid on Timothy Fleming, but Fleming died. His fiance was not injured earlier this week before the release of this video. She talked with WMAR 2 News and said even though the fiance had pulled a knife on her, she did not think that he should have been shot and killed. The commissioner says there will be a full investigation into this shooting. Much more on this story coming up later on WMAR 2 News starting at 5 o'clock. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, Maryland. We are dealing with mostly sunny skies once again, courtesy of a very large ridge of high pressure building in across the eastern half of the country. So not only are we going to stay dry today with plenty of sunshine, but our temperatures will trend warmer as well. We can expect daytime highs to range in the mid to upper 80s across central Maryland, especially by 4 to 5 o'clock. That's when our temperatures will be the warmest. With continued dry time as we head overnight into your Thursday, a few high thin clouds could build in overnight. Temperatures only expected to drop off into the lower 60s as we wake up tomorrow morning. Partly cloudy skies for Thursday and Friday to round us out for the work week with high temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, lower 90s heading into the upcoming weekend. Meteorologist Stevie Daniels, thanks very much and stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news and for news weather on the go. You can download the WMAR2 News app. It is in the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.